Today we count down the 10 most incredible inventions that disappeared without a trace. So what happened to them? Why did they disappear? Will we ever see them again? Let's start now. Number 10. Philadelphia Experiment 1943 The Philadelphia Experiment was a purported military experiment in which a U.S. Navy warship was made invisible. The experiment is said to have had disastrous results, and all evidence of it has since been classified. The story of the Philadelphia Experiment first appeared in 1955 in a book by Morris K. Jessup called The Case for the UFO. Jessup claimed that he had received a letter from a man named Carlos Allende, who described an experiment he had witnessed while serving on the USS Eldridge in 1943. According to Allende's letter, the Eldridge was made invisible by a powerful electromagnetic field. The experiment was successful, but it also had unexpected consequences. Some of the crew members were fused with the ship, and others were teleported to other parts of the world. The ship itself was damaged beyond repair, and the Navy quickly covered up the experiment. There is no scientific evidence to support the story of the Philadelphia experiment. However, the story has been popularized by books, movies, and television shows. It has also become a popular topic of discussion among conspiracy theorists. Some experts believe that the story of the Philadelphia experiment is based on real experiments that were conducted by the Navy during World War II. These experiments were designed to make ships invisible to enemy radar. However, there is no evidence that these experiments were ever successful and they were eventually abandoned. The story of the Philadelphia experiment is a reminder that there are many things about the world that we do not understand. It is also a reminder that the government is sometimes willing to keep secrets from its citizens, even when those secrets involve life and death matters. Number 9. Tesla's Death Ray Early 20th Century Tesla's Death Ray is a weapon that was claimed to be able to disintegrate targets from a distance. It was reportedly invented by Nikola Tesla in the 1930s, but he died before he could complete it. The plans for the Death Ray have never been found, and its existence is still disputed by some historians. Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, physicist, and futurist who is best known for his contributions to the design of the modern alternating current, AC, electricity supply system. He was also a prolific inventor who held over 700 patents worldwide. In the early 1900s, Tesla became interested in the development of new weapons of war. He believed that a weapon that could destroy targets from a distance would be able to prevent wars and violence. He began working on a new type of weapon that he called a death ray. Tesla's death ray was reportedly based on the principle of particle beam weaponry. Particle beams are streams of high energy particles that can be used to destroy targets from a distance. Tesla believed that his death ray could be used to disintegrate targets from up to 250 miles away. Tesla worked on his death ray for several years, but he was never able to complete it before his death in 1943. The plans for the death ray have never been found, and its existence is still disputed by some historians. Despite the lack of evidence, Tesla's death ray remains a popular topic of speculation and fascination. Some people believe that the death ray was real and that Tesla's plans were stolen or destroyed by the government. Others believe that the death ray was just a hoax or that Tesla was simply imagining things. Regardless of its existence, Tesla's death ray is a reminder of the incredible potential of science and technology. It also raises important questions about the ethics of developing new weapons of war. Number 8. Viking Navigation 9th to 11th centuries The Vikings were skilled sailors and navigators who were able to travel long distances across the open ocean without the use of compasses or astrolabes. Their exact methods are unknown, but historians believe that they used a combination of celestial observations and dead reckoning. Celestial observation is the use of the stars and other celestial bodies to determine one's position on Earth. The Vikings would have known the locations of the stars and planets, and they could use this knowledge to navigate at night. They may also have used the sun and moon to navigate during the day. Dead reckoning is the practice of estimating one's position based on the distance and direction traveled from a known starting point. The Vikings would have kept track of the distance they traveled by counting the number of strokes of their oars or by using a device called a log. They would have also kept track of the direction they traveled by using a compass if they had one. However, compasses were not widely used in Europe until the 12th century, so the Vikings may have used other methods to determine direction, such as the position of the sun or the stars. Number 7. Bessler Water Wheel 18th century 
In the early 18th century, a German inventor named Johann Bessler created a water wheel that he claimed could produce more energy than it consumed. This would be a violation of the laws of physics, but Bessler refused to reveal the secret to his invention. The water wheel was known as the Bessler water wheel, and it remains one of the most mysterious inventions of all time. Bessler first demonstrated his water wheel in 1717. He invited a group of scientists and dignitaries to his workshop, where he showed them a water wheel that was powered by a small stream of water. The water wheel was driving a large millstone, and it was clear that it was producing more energy than the stream was providing. Bessler's invention caused a sensation. Scientists from all over Europe came to see the water wheel for themselves, but none of them could figure out how it worked. Bessler offered to reveal the secret of his invention to anyone who could pay him a large enough sum of money, but no one was able to meet his demands. In 1735, Bessler died. Shortly after his death, his workshop was raided and his water wheel was destroyed. No one knows what became of the plans for the water wheel, and its secret remains hidden to this day. There are many theories about how the Bessler water wheel worked. Some people believe that it was a hoax, and that Bessler was using some kind of trick to make it appear that the water wheel was producing more energy than it consumed. Others believe that Bessler had discovered a new and revolutionary form of energy, but that he was too afraid of being persecuted to reveal it to the world. Damascus Steel 17th Century Have you ever heard of Damascus Steel? It was a legendary type of steel that was produced in Damascus, Syria, from the 3rd century BC to the 17th century AD. It was renowned for its strength and sharpness, but its exact manufacturing process has been lost. Damascus steel was used to make swords, knives, and other weapons that were prized by warriors all over the world. It was also used to make decorative items such as jewelry and armor. Unfortunately, the exact process of making Damascus steel was lost centuries ago. It is believed that the process involved forging together two or more different types of steel, but the exact techniques used are unknown. There have been many attempts to recreate Damascus steel in modern times, but none of them have been able to perfectly match the quality of the original. This has made Damascus steel even more valuable and sought after by collectors. Number 5. Voynich Manuscript 15th century. The Voynich Manuscript is a mysterious book written in an unknown language and script. It is filled with strange illustrations of plants, animals, and astronomical objects. Despite centuries of study, no one has been able to decipher its meaning. The manuscript is thought to have been written in the 15th century, and it was first discovered in an Italian monastery in the early 17th century. It was named after Wilfred Voynich, a Polish-American book dealer who purchased the manuscript in 1912. The Voynich Manuscript is filled with strange and enigmatic illustrations. Some of the illustrations depict plants and animals that do not exist in the real world. Others depict astronomical objects in a way that is inconsistent with modern scientific knowledge. The language and script of the Voynich Manuscript are also unknown. Some scholars believe that the language is a cipher, while others believe that it is a completely new language. The script has also been compared to a number of other ancient scripts, but no definitive match has been found. The mystery of the Voynich Manuscript has fascinated scholars and the general public for centuries. There have been many attempts to decipher the manuscript, but none have been successful. Some scholars have even speculated that the manuscript is a hoax. However, most scholars believe that the Voynich Manuscript is a genuine document. The illustrations are too sophisticated for a hoax, and the language and script are unlike anything that has been seen before. The Voynich Manuscript is a reminder that there are still many mysteries to be solved in the world. It is also a reminder of the power of human ingenuity. Even though we cannot understand the manuscript, it is clear that its creator was a very intelligent and creative person. Number 4. Lycurgus Cup, 4th Century AD The Lycurgus Cup is a mysterious Roman glass cup that changes color depending on the angle from which it is viewed. It was created in the 4th Century AD, but the secret to its manufacture has been lost to time. The cup is made of dichroic glass, which is a type of glass that contains microscopic particles of silver and gold. These particles interact with light to create different colors, depending on the direction from which the light is coming. When the cup is held up to the light, it appears to be a deep green color. However, when it is held against a dark background, it turns a bright red. This is because the silver and gold particles in the glass reflect different colors of light depending on the angle from which they are hit. The Lycurgus Cup is a remarkable example of ancient Roman technology. It is one of the only known examples of dichroic glass from the Roman era. 
Scientists are still trying to figure out how the Romans were able to create such a sophisticated material. One theory is that the Romans used a process called colloidal nanotechnology. This process involves dispersing tiny particles of metal in a liquid. When the liquid is cooled, the particles solidify and form a thin film on the surface. This film is then applied to the glass, creating the dichroic effect. Another theory is that the Romans used a process called ion implantation. This process involves bombarding the glass with ions of silver and gold. The ions penetrate the surface of the glass and create a thin film of metal. This film also creates the dichroic effect. Number 3. Jed Pillar Circa 300 BC The Jed Pillar is a mysterious Egyptian artifact that dates back to around 300 BC. It is often depicted in ancient art and hieroglyphs, but its exact purpose is unknown. Some believe that it was a symbol of stability and order, while others believe that it may have been a device for generating electricity. The Jed Pillar is typically depicted as a four-sided pillar with a flat top and a slightly flared base. It is often decorated with hieroglyphs and symbols associated with the Egyptian gods Osiris and Ta. Osiris was the god of the underworld and resurrection, while Ta was the creator god. The Jed Pillar appears in many different contexts in ancient Egyptian art and culture. It is often depicted in scenes of religious ceremonies and rituals. It is also found on amulets and other funerary objects, suggesting that it was associated with the afterlife. One of the most famous examples of the Jed Pillar is found in the Temple of Isis at Philae. This temple was built in the Ptolemaic period, 305 to 30 BC, but it incorporates many elements of earlier Egyptian architecture. The Jed Pillar is depicted prominently in several of the temple's reliefs. Another notable example of the Jed Pillar is found in the tomb of Tutankhamun. This tomb was discovered in 1922 and is one of the most well-preserved tombs in Egypt. The Jed Pillar is depicted on several of the objects found in Tutankhamun's tomb, including his golden coffin and funerary mask. The purpose of the Jed Pillar is still a mystery. Some scholars believe that it was a symbol of stability and order. The Egyptians believed that the universe was constantly under threat from chaos, and the Jed Pillar was seen as a way to maintain balance and harmony. Number 2. Baghdad Battery C. 250 AD The Baghdad Battery is a collection of clay pots, copper cylinders, and iron rods that were discovered in Iraq in the 1930s. They are believed to be around 2,000 years old, dating back to the Parthian Empire. When filled with an acidic liquid, such as vinegar, the Baghdad batteries can produce a weak electric current. This led some scientists to theorize that they were used as batteries by the ancient Mesopotamians. However, there is no direct evidence to support this theory. No written records have been found that describe the Baghdad batteries or their use. Additionally, no electroplated objects from this period have been discovered. Another theory is that the Baghdad batteries were used for electroplating. Electroplating is a process of coating one metal with another. It is commonly used today to gold plate jewelry, for example. However, this theory is also problematic. The Baghdad batteries would have been very inefficient at electroplating. Additionally, the acidic liquid used in the batteries would have damaged the metal being plated. So, what is the real purpose of the Baghdad batteries? We don't know for sure. Some scientists believe that they were used for some kind of religious or ritual purpose. Others believe that they were used for a practical purpose, such as electroplating or electrotherapy. It is also possible that the Baghdad batteries were simply an experiment. The ancient Mesopotamians were very advanced in mathematics and astronomy. They may have been experimenting with electricity, but they may not have fully understood how it worked. Number 1. Antikythera Mechanism C. 100 BC the Antikythera Mechanism is a mysterious invention that suddenly disappeared. It was discovered in a shipwreck off the coast of Greece in 1901 and is believed to have been built around 100 BC. The mechanism is a complex device made of bronze gears and was used to track the movements of the planets and stars. It could also predict eclipses and other astronomical events. The Antikythera Mechanism is so advanced that it is considered to be the world's first computer. It is made up of over 30 interlocking gears and is housed in a wooden box. The mechanism is powered by a hand crank and has a number of dials that display information about the positions of the planets and stars. The Antikythera Mechanism was discovered by sponge divers who were exploring the wreck of a ship. The ship had sunk over 2,000 years ago and the mechanism was buried in the mud at the bottom of the sea. The divers brought the mechanism to the surface, and it was eventually given to the National Archaeological Museum in Athens. When the Antikythera mechanism was first discovered, scientists did not know what it was. They had never seen anything like it before. 
It took many years for scientists to understand how the mechanism worked and what it was used for. Today, we know that the Antikythera mechanism was a sophisticated astronomical calculator. It could be used to predict the positions of the planets and stars, as well as eclipses and other astronomical events. The mechanism was also used to track the four-year cycle of the Olympic Games. The Antikythera mechanism is one of the most mysterious inventions ever found. It is so advanced that it is difficult to believe that it was built over 2,000 years ago. We still do not know everything about the mechanism, but scientists are continuing to study it and learn more about its secrets. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos.